Part 7, let's get to it. Tears Fall Glades Leveling. Haven't done this before. Wink. Hey, oh, I'm a 60. Bet that person's giving them money. What else we've got round here then? Where are we headed first? Pewdry Claw, I need one more. So I'll get that. Do I do this one first? I'll hand this in and then go up there. Convincing the lady knows how many dupes like you into doing the same. No offense. Very well, you're here now, and that's all that matters. Since I'm not going to bother to try to explain things to that abomination, how about you collect what I really need? Doom weed. So you can see the predicament that I am in, adventurer. That thing is out there collecting the wrong weeds. I'll make it worth your while to gather what I need. Bring back to me enough doom weed, and I'll give you a suitable reward. It is my understanding that they like to play the floor near the last gravesite. The north of the Silver I've got now, 80. Was listening to Rise of the Clans today at work. Quite interesting listening to the law. Mostly lie, I already know to an extent. I know the plot of it, but not the fine intricacies of it all. Which I will do soon. It would just make playing this more interesting, I think, if I know everything about it. And I see all the little characters and I think, oh, that's, that's him from the book. Everyone knows the main ones. Thrall, Sylvanas, Garrosh, Grom, Anduin and the like. Don't know a lot of the human ones. I've always been a hardy. Not always by choice, mind. I've wanted to go Alliance in the past, but my mates have always wanted to go hard, so I've had to. Enchanting it's not really fair, is it? How long it takes to get that up compared to other things. So it's not really a lot on offer to help you get that up at low level. You don't come across many greens. Whereas for blacksmithing and jewel craft, not jewel crafting, alchemy, you come across a lot of herbs and ore to help with that. Easy work of these things on a little bit high for it. But it doesn't matter, does it? At least it means I'll have plenty of quests available in the barrens to do. As I have more quests than you need than less quests than you need. Quite often happens later on. Well, it does if you don't do dungeons. Dungeons make that a lot easier. In terms of if you can get a level or two doing a few dungeons, means you've got more quests available when you come out. I really need a one donor. So glad I've got no work tomorrow. 
It almost feels sometimes like the day before your day off is better than your day off. Because on the day off, the next day you've got work. It's not like you can go to bed when you want and get up when you want, because on the day you work, but have the next day off. You're looking forward. You've got the rest of the afternoon thinking, ah, I can get up when I want tomorrow. Saying that makes no difference to me, I always get up at the same time. Even though I set no alarm. So I'll probably get up about 6.40 tomorrow, get something to eat, showered, and drive to Middlesbrough for MMA training. And I'm not sure with the rest of the day. No doubt I'll make a play through or two. Seeing as I'm doing this one today, tomorrow I'll probably do one for Season of Mastery and one for my Cataclysm Road. Which has just got the heirloom cloak and helm now. So that adds another what? 15% increased experience. So that all helps. Don't know what to level on Cat after that. Could maybe once I've done a Cat one, actually do one on retail. I'm not sure whether to wait until closer to war within for that. So it just flows quite nicely straight into it. Yeah, maybe do that. Like a month before. Don't think it takes all that long to level in. Retail these days, does it? hell like that's handy sticky glue that means I'll have a lot sticky glue and is it slumber slumbering sand you get from here Two people. Nice to see. Rogue warrior. Afternoon, boys. Right, mongrel and one more of those. Ica. And the next good moves. Drain life following. Do him now. Yeah. We'll go up towards that then and do my guy. This is all different in cat now. All sorts of contraptions along the side. All the quests seem to be about diseases and curses. Well not curses, but poisoning. Hmm. 
I'll have to do my little check soon, won't I? A little check of how many people are there on the server. Right. Don't forget, it. Well, it's ten past five, so there could be a lot on. in every single bracket. Love fences as a wall up. Right in. Bloody hell. They're gonna steal my kill, aren't they? My guy. Food. Little thank you wouldn't have gone amiss. I'm expecting too much to out of people to say thank you in this day and age. One thing infuriates me. If you hold the door open for someone and not say thank you, or oh. So if a lass is walking down the street with a pram, you think, oh, I'll step onto the road for her. Just walks past. Alright. Don't mind me then. I'll just risk getting run over for you, but don't worry about it. Nearly ding. Make that a little bit quicker to cast. Right. Get this. One thing I was thinking of doing is, as you can see on the video, you can see what my cast bars. Well, not my cast bars. Sorry. My buttons are at the bottom. I was thinking about getting rid of that, hiding it, so you can't see it. I wonder if that'd make it look better on the videos, because you just then see my character. I'm not too sure. I can't exactly hide the interface by doing where is it that, because then I, I wouldn't know what I'm pressing. But I could cut it off just above where my pet's moves are. Where have they jumped from? What the hell? See that? Look at that? One's all stuck in it. Alright, try and pull him over here a bit. Okay, so he's not attacking me. Come on, 
into this one. Ah, oh. pet died. What's that shield he's casting? It sounded like the shaman one. Not casting any debuff on him. Friends just text me asking about some of the law. I'll have to reply to him after. For one of the videos that we'll be making. First law video is out already. Second video coming out soon. About the first war. So that should be a good one. I quite like the first war. And some good footage that can be used as well. Obviously predating that it's difficult to get any sort of footage you can use for a, a video for it. Nice, nice, nice. Back to here. Putrid Claw. And go get. Go down there. What's my herb in that now? 44. Need to get it to 50, don't I? Then I can upgrade it. Should need it at 60, though, really. Going by my ruling of your level times 5. I'm hoping that at the higher levels I can actually sell this for a decent amount and that will get me some money. Because the plan is just to go this and alchemy. I could cheat to be fair and use money from these other characters there though, but I'm not doing that. So if you ever see my money there go up by a massive amount you know that I've transferred it. It shouldn't go up by much. I might occasionally put stuff on the auction house off the playthrough and pick stuff up, but ninety nine percent of it will be done on video. Just things like first aid and nobody wants to sit and watch me just stand there like that for ages. Going in there then. Got flower there. The I thought this graveyard would be good for hardcore. I have no graves in it, and then on a hardcore survey, I had graves per death. You've done me, uh, the lady, a fine service today, adventurer. As promised, here is the reward that you deserve. You'd have to do it at a certain level, log, because otherwise it would be absolutely jam-packed for a 50 plus or something. I am for sale. 
Yeah, we'll slim the sand. Exactly what a lady I chose for you. While you were out gathering, I uncovered some old text in one of my tombs that indicates that an ancient plague wiped I out thousands of innocent day. victims. Later, it was discovered that the deadly agent in the plague was preserved through the venom of nightweb spiders. Bring me some venom from a vicious nightweb spider to complete this experiment. Speak quickly. I want to see if the contagious element from the venom will work with my new concoction. The rumor has it the spiders can be found in eastern Tirasfall glades. Magadai's dastardly acts have finally Slip been avenged. Savage, I don't know what that one is. Maybe your acts of valor will send a clear message to those who wish to bring harm to our people. On behalf of the town of Brill, I thank you, adventurer. Don't worry about it. I'm listening. I appreciate your efforts, adventurer. May Sylvanas recognize your bravery one day. Right, can I I'll teach you anything? Demons more powerful. It'll cost you, but you've come to the right place. Hmm. Dark lady, watchers. want to make your demons more I'm powerful? Listening. It'll cost you, but you've come to the right place. Health funnel. It's oh, wise I'm not bothered by that one. this you can stop here for now we need the void walker but we have to do that quest over on the other side for that so we'll approach that later on Can't read any of those. There was a good one in Scholomans I wanted to read. What now? Expertly done, adventurer. The scourge are mistaken if they think they can use those corpses against us. And the fluid you gathered be from the rot hide slaves will be studied by our apothecaries. It may have secrets we can use against them. As I said, well done. But our struggle continues, and the conflict will surely offer you more chances to prove your worth to the Forsaken. I need a fresh report Tilted from our Death Guard station to the east. I must know if more Scourge forces have slipped past the Bulwark and into Tyrusfall. Our vigilance on the border to the Plague Lands must be maintained. We can't let the Scourge get a stronger foothold here. Travel south along the road, then east at the Fork to the way station. Speak one there. I know it's grey, but I'm still doing it. And then head down to that Bethor one. Ishard, a high-ranking and powerful mage in the Undercity to the south, commands me to send him an agent with proven worth against the Scourge. You, adventurer, will be that agent. Present these orders to Bethor. He will then instruct you on your mission. I don't know its details, but it deals with recruiting a way Shut up now. And it will be dangerous. So ready yourself, adventurer. Mm. You must not fail. Not you may find Bethor in the magic quarter of the Undercity. I think it's so difficult to tell when I am attacking a grey. Doesn't really give the full scope of its power, does it? That means he shouldn't get aggro, surely. Shifts the imp out of phase with the world, making it unattackable unless it attacks. I need to get some strangers and lesser magic essence, but it was quite expensive when I got it from the enchanting trainer. Well, the vendor next to him. I think it was like eight silver a piece. Which for a person with 80 silver is quite a lot. Watch my next moves. Same price as those. And since his server's been growing a while, 
these things on the art class won't be cheap. Armor. Get him out of the way. Pants I've got on, aren't they? Oh, it's how bright they are. It's almost foreign to me being an arc now. It wasn't for a long time when my Death Knight was an arc for years. Well, from Wrath. The first time round, all the way up until. When did I properly stop playing him? Switch to Paladin. I think it might have been Balfour Azeroth. Or maybe Legion. Kind of an XP quite nicely. One good thing about not smashing it every day is that you stay quite a bit arrested. Which makes a massive difference, I think. Alright. Get your mana back, kid. Putting these on now. Ooh. That's what's happened with melee then, since I accidentally pressed blood. Not bloodlust, blood fury. Yeah, I thought I could get in that. I'm getting this one now, can I? Nothing of great interest, really. Got all the zealots and missionaries. Okay, this herb. Oh, two herbs. Want to make sure we get to. Is it 50? So we can upgrade. Three more. Two more. Do I think these actually sell for anything now? Not if it went for that, I'd be pretty happy. That'd be quite a lot for me. It's not like I need to save for a mount on this character, thank God. One of the good things about Warlock and Paladin. Classic came back out in 2019. I didn't dare spend a penny on my rogue. Well, I was leveling now to make sure whether I had enough money come 40. Do love leveling a rogue. Don't know what I'll level next time. Off vanilla comes out again. 
I just can't help myself. I just always make a hoax. Especially if it's a PvP server, so then if anything pops up in an alliance, I can just quickly stealth and choose whether I want to fight or not. And that means I can go undead and level in this zone. Do you have the ring? I might as well attack him. I don't normally like to attack people like this. I like to leave it for others who still need the quest. But there's no one around, so I don't mind so much. Was it? Get this one while waiting for them to respawn. Oh, hello. What are you doing all the way over here? More as well. Oh, they stretched all the way around there. And you've got one of my lovely little rings. How oh, nice. Shot them, but not when I haven't got the space. There are only 11 slots left. I had to leave that. My aim of this, I've said before, is to just really take my time. Just try and enjoy the game more instead of thinking, right, gotta go to there, do those quests, hop across to the barons, hop back. That's why I'm not too bothered about doing green quests or even the odd grey if I need to be. It's not like it's the only iteration of the game I'm playing. Since I'm playing this, Son, Mandkar. Seems to be more people on this than there is on some. Pretty much every time I've checked on this, there's been 50 people per bracket. You can't say that on some. If I check at the right time it is, but it has to be the right time. This seems to have it all the time. Which has amazed me. Given that there's no post about it on Reddit or anything. I know there's one advertising Deviate Delight, the American one. And then Blizzard have even helped them out by stopping transfers to that server so they can have a sort of new fresh. I'm sure that they favour the Americans of EU. These have respawned. Not long until that's instant. I think it's just one more talent, is it? No, two more. It's good dog getting a talent every level. 
change that in car, didn't I? At least you still get a fair amount of talent in Cata though compared to Mop where you get hardly any. It's like what, six or seven or something daft. Until they, they realise that people actually like picking talents all the time in retail now that you've got loads two different trees one for general and then one for your actual spec I think I think that's how it works so you'd have one for paladin but then one for say rep what's that Lovely. Go to there, hand that in. I think they give me quests for killing ghosts at the far end. I can't remember what else. I think is it pelts? She want the. She might want those killed. We'll see. Three silver. What about this? One, four, five, seventy-five. Sorry. All adds up. Never, I've never actually played probably any expansion actually, and gone down demon or destruction. Always gone down affliction. I know that's a good spec to go for PvP in terms of not getting killed. What do they call it? SLSL. They've all got some interesting moves in them. It's just a cool class walk. The defenders Watch on the bulwark protecting Tyrus fall from the victory plague lands are on constant alert. But Beware. sometimes scourge Our will slip past them. Our success at the bulwark depends on a one front battle. We cannot allow an attack from the rear, nor uh, can we allow our defenders' supply line to be cut. Spiders. Assist the bulwark, patrol east and slay any scourge you can. Spend particular effort at the Balnir farmstead to the east. It has become a haven for interloping scourge. Magistrate Severin wants a report. Very well. The Very defenders well. at the Bulwark are holding the majority of the Scourge at bay, but some do slip through on occasion. We have seen sporadic Scourge activity east of this station, with a concentration around the Balnir farmstead. Now return to Magistrate Severin with the information I gave you. He'll want it as soon as possible, so be swift. I haven't and got if you see any day. scourge on your way back, take them down. We can't let them wander our lands unchallenged. Doubt that'll sell for that. Do not. The thing is, you never know though when people are getting cooking up. Because if you're high level, it just takes so much time to just go and grind that. Where it's just easier just to buy it all. When I finally go to the city, I'll have to scan the auction house and see. Right. The to form a base at the I didn't want to go up there and do that other quest until I'd got that one. I didn't want to do yeah, this one there uh, until I'd got that quest. The scourge in the mills must be destroyed. What go now? to the mills, collect much ribs from rampage and cracked skulls. So what would you ask? Blackened no skulls from dark eye bone casters. To get to the mills, follow the road west. After crossing the bridge, take the next fork north, then keep going north. When you see windmills, the battle will begin. Captain Perrine's death will undoubtedly please the Dark Lady. 
You have performed your duty well, adventurer. Nearly another level. We are still at war, and the Scarlet Crusade grows in strength. The report executor Aaron sent me indicates Scarlet Crusaders have been raiding from the ruined tower in southeastern Tirisfall, near the Balnir farmstead, under the command of Captain Vashon. Kill Vashon along with five Scarlet Friars. It should prove to be a devastating blow to the Crusade. Varimathras right. will be proud. We shall leave that, that there. That's enough yeah. for today. So hopefully, when I next log on, there'll be some rested and then we can get up another bar so i shall see you there